If you're confused about leaving or staying in a seemingly toxic, dysfunctional or a narcissistic relationship, this episode is for you. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. In this episode, you will learn about seven for sure signs that indicate it is time for you to leave the relationship and never look back. If that sounds interesting, make sure to subscribe and stay until the end because the seventh one is going to be the most important. Let's get started. Number one, when you have exhausted yourself trying to justify, trying to apologize, trying to make the ends meet, yet the relationship does not improve, you have reached the end of your rope. In a relationship, it is impossible that everything can be your fault. It's not you who can make every single mistake that they are blaming for. No matter how much you justify, no matter how much you try to explain and even apologize, they still find ways to make it about you, yet take zero responsibility at the same time for what they have done. It's like they're completely blind to their mistakes. They are completely del delusional because the way they justify their behaviors on the basis of yours it does not make sense. They try to make some logical connections and on the surface level, they may make some connections. But if you look at it, if you dissect the whole, the, the argument and the rationalizations, you would find that it is completely flawed. It is skewed. The arguments are baseless and they just want to escape responsibility. If you feel like you have wasted months and years trying to get across only one point and that is please look at your actions, take responsibility and it seems like they are not moving. It feels like you're trying to dig in a path through a mountain and you are failing again and again. Then that is your answer because these people, this person that you are with is completely completely shut off to any form, any kind of insight or reflection, be it from other people or be it from their own responses. They do not want to look at what they have done. They function through blame shifting and projection. That is what's going on here. So do not waste more time. Just take that step and leave the relationship. Number two, your physical health has been destroyed. You have ailments that you never had before. You cannot sleep. You're always anxious and panicky. If you have all of these symptoms, you need to understand that you are experiencing an overwhelming demand to keep surviving. You have been exposed to an abnormal amount of stress that your body is not designed to survive. In a narcissistic relationship, you have to constantly keep walking on eggshells because you do not know what this person is going to do next and how they are going to abuse you. If that is your case, if that is your life, then it is a given you would be impacted at many levels many of the aspects of you as a human being would be impacted and affected, one of which is your health. If your health status is declining and you are developing issues that you never had before, you're developing disorders that do not make sense, it is a clear message and a sign from your body telling you to move yourself out of this toxic and stressful situation. You do not get these issues, you do not get these health problems with a healthy partner. It's not because you are weak, it is because the environment is adverse and very, very toxic. Did you develop any conditions, any autoimmune disorders, any ailments that you did not have before while being in this narcissistic relationship? Drop your experiences in the comments below and help other survivors who are trying to leave feel validated. Number three, you feel like you're going crazy and you need to check in a mental hospital. In a narcissistic relationship, you're constantly manipulated and gaslit. They always make this attempt to twist your reality, to change it, to make you believe things that are not real about you, about what you're experiencing, about your thoughts, about your feelings and about your belief system. They brainwash you into believing that you are the crazy one in the situation and it is your fault. Therefore, you should be punished or you should keep trying more because they are not doing anything and they are getting victimized. They are getting abused because of your actions. You need to understand that if you feel like you are the crazy one, you have been made to feel and think that way and therefore you should leave because if you do not, you're going to lo lose yourself. You're going to turn into a shell that you would not recognize. You are going to lose your sanity. You are going to lose your thoughts, your feelings, your identity, the identity that you built since your childhood, the identity that you recognize yourself through that would be gone and there would be nothing left. The fact that you feel like it's all your fault, the fact that they are successful 
at making you feel things, at making you think things and do things in itself is a proof that you should leave and it's not a healthy situation for you. Number four, when they're being nice to everyone else except you, they are this nice, charming, kind, affectionate person to the outsider, but they're a monster to you inside the four walls because no one can see who they truly are when they are with you. And with you, they do not need to put on a mask of this kindness because they have already put you in the trap and they know you would not leave easily. If you see this compartmentalization of the behaviors, if you see this hypocrisy, if you see this mask wearing, if you see the shape shifting in the narcissist, in this person that you are with, it is a clear sign that they are this chameleon who knows how to change its colors and they do not change colors because you make them do so. They change it because they do not need to keep this one color when they are with you. They can be all abusive, they can be all monstrous, they can treat you however they want to. They can be their real self and at the same time retain you as a supply. The fact that they are treating you like you do not matter, like a piece of trash in itself is uh, a proof. It's a confirmation that they think so lowly of you. You're not an important part of their life. They think of you like this object that they use and once used, you are thrown away. They don't care about your needs. They don't care about the consequences. They don't care about implications. They treat you however they want to and at the same time expect you to be happy with their treatment and not complain, not have questions. Be this doormat that lets them walk all over and have zero, zero complaints or questions against them. So if you feel like you're being walked over like a doormat, if you feel like it's not changing at all, no matter how much you try to explain yourself, no matter how much you try to bring up your issues and they completely disregard you and have no remorse at all, it means you are being taken for granted and you should not be in this relationship. You should leave as soon as possible and never look back. Number five, they use fear and intimidation to dominate you and keep you doing what they want you to do. Basically, they control you to keep you in the cage. They control what you wear, who you see, who your friends are, how you interact with your family, if you work or not, and stuff like that. It could be subtle control as well. They may control you emotionally through passive aggressive behaviors. They may give you silent treatment when you are not complying, complying when you are not obeying, when you are not doing things that they want you to do or the way they want you to do. If you feel like you are being controlled, if you feel like your aut autonomy has been stolen from you, if you feel like you're no more this independent person that you used to be in the past, then that is your answer because a healthy partner does not need to do any of it while being with you. They respect you, they respect your autonomy, they are not threatened by your independence, they cherish it because it adds independence to their life as well. You become a part that brings in value, that brings in a lot of positive experiences. But to a narcissist, your autonomy is the killer because if you are autonomous, and independent, that would mean they would have zero control over you financially or otherwise. So to keep you in the cage is what they want to happen and, and that is what they do essentially, using fear because they know if they keep you afraid, if, you, if they keep you walking on your toes, if they keep you hypervigilant, if they keep you under their thumb, you would be easily controlled. They install these points in your psyche which they push whenever they want. For example, you would be talking, you would be trying to explain why you feel a certain way and they know that they just need to raise the voice, the volume, and they would just need to change the tonality for you to feel threatened, for you to perceive some kind of punishment and ultimately silence you. If you feel like you have zero zero space in this relationship and fear is the only emotion you feel because of them and their presence then that my dear is another answer another sign telling you to leave because this person is eating you alive you may not recognize it but it is happening every single second that you spend in this relationship number six you feel like you're talking to a brick wall nothing matters if you feel like no matter how much evidence you bring up no matter how much you try to explain what angles to you give to your explanations what proof you use to prove your point how you show them this one other possibility than their rigid way of thinking than their rigid way of believing about things if none of that works if you feel like it just 
not moving anything it feels like you're stuck and you are overwhelmed by that stuckness then this person is completely blind and dead in their existence they do not see you so they do not see the point that you're trying to make the only point that is important for them is their own and that is what matters to them that is what they want to listen to that is what they want to consider when it comes to yours it's rubbish it's below them it's beneath them so why do why would they even think about what you have to say if that is what you have been experiencing and if you resonate these words then you need to understand that it's better to hit your head against a brick wall then try to have a conversation with a narcissist or try to get a point across because at least when you're trying to hit your head against a brick wall you would know that your head is bleeding something is happening but when you're trying to get this point across nothing is moving you feel like you're hitting something and it's coming back at you and you are being attacked so if that is what your experience is if you feel like nothing is getting to the other side then that is your answer the issue is not you the issue is their resistance and rigidity and that is why you should leave because they would not change this would not break this wall would not break and no matter how much you try you would not be able to break through it it's not about your force it's about the thickness of this wall it's too thick for you to penetrate the only person who could ever penetrate is them and that too from the inside they can way, make a way from the inside to the out you can't go from out to the in it's very thick for you to penetrate number seven and the last one it is time to leave the narcissist when you recognize that they are a narcissist if you clearly see that they have all the signs all the characteristic and personality traits of a narcissist if you resonate with every single video every single piece of content that people put out there about narcissism then that is your answer you cannot whitewash that you cannot justify this resonance this relatability on the basis of this one good thing that they did in the beginning or in, in the middle somewhere here and there you cannot justify your stay on the basis of well maybe they can get better well he or she is not that bad because he did this and he did that all of those are excuses and justifications and it is essentially self gaslighting it's like you are putting yourself in this prison and then justifying your stay in it if you have recognized that he or she is a narcissist then you need to fully embody that fact no matter how painful it is because if you do not then you are going to be the prisoner of your own doing for the rest of your life and nobody would ever be able to save you so if you look at it for what it is you will set yourself free that is what you need to do do not get too myopic do not look at these sporic or these individual experiences they are not the correct data they are not the correct point of references you need to consider the whole data set the whole picture for you to know exactly what you're looking at so if you know what it is dare to look at dare to face the pain otherwise the pain that you will face by staying in the relationship is never ending this pain that you would face or feel by just looking at it as it is maybe is one time it can get worse but there is hope that it can get better as you leave but this one the pain of staying it will never get better it will only keep increasing that was it for today's episode i hope you resonated and you found it helpful if you did drop a like drop a comment and make sure to subscribe i'll talk with you in the next one till then let the healing begin